Well, good day there, everybody. This is Joe Van Cleve. Hey, welcome to another episode of the Typewriter Video Series. It's a nice Sunday morning out there. I had to go get some milk for my coffee and breakfast, so I had to ride the motor scooter down just a quarter mile down the hill to the creepy Albertsons. That one's creepy. Not all of them are. So I have my little Canon Type Star 4 typewriter, and I've been working on... Oh, just a random little journal entry, and I thought it would be a good time to talk about thermal paper that comes in rolls, and how do you manage thermal paper with these typewriters? Uh, do you like to just uh, type on the whole roll? How do you hold the roll together if you're going to do that? There's various widths of paper as well available, and you can also cut them into sheets. So kind of talking about managing the paper for thermal typewriters. All right, stay tuned. Now, as far as uh, rolls of thermal paper, there are three general sizes that I've found that are available. The smallest size is the 3 and one eighth inch, which is the same width as the kind of receipts you get at a store, a retail store that are thermally printed. Uh, there is the second size, which is slightly wider, which is 4 and 3 eighths. This is an example of one of those. I bought a whole case of these. I find the 4 and 3 eighths is actually fairly handy for writing poetry. Uh, especially with this kind of pica size typeface, three and an eighth is a little narrow for that size printing, but this gives you enough width that you can actually do some poetry on, which is kind of cool. Uh, my idea maybe eventually is to try to do some kind of a public poetry project with thermal paper. I think it would be kind of interesting. But So what I did here, as far as the... Uh, holder for this paper. This is the kind of wire that is uh, used to make a clothesline and it's kind of stiff wire but you can bend it by hand and so I have a long piece going through the core of the roll and then I bent the ends into like a triangle shape and so that makes a supporting uh, set of legs that you can support this roll behind the typewriter and of course this is going to last you quite a while uh, so when you get down to the end of the paper, you simply unbend one of the sides, one of the ends, and you can pull the paper off and put another roll of paper. And this is a really simple way of making a holder for your paper that you can set on the table behind the typewriter itself. Now, if you're using a thermal fax paper, the eight and a half inch wide rolls, for instance, you might think, well, maybe I can use a paper towel holder, one of those plastic brackets that has the two screw holes, and I could maybe mount it to a little piece of wood or or whatever and the problem there is that those paper towel holders are typically designed to hold 11 inch wide paper towels but your roll of paper is only going to be eight and a half inch wide and so the problem is going to be adapting that to the roll holder and plus if you look at the diameter difference of the holes this particular brand of thermal fax paper the core of it is quite a bit smaller than a paper towel holder so uh, that's going to be a problem. So what I did in this example is I did make this uh, custom-made little wooden holder for these various kinds of rolls of paper. I originally had used this for this uh, non-thermal regular teletype paper. It's kind of a newsprint quality paper. It has a small core. But this particular holder will hold various sizes of paper. And it's just a, a sheet of quarter inch thick wood that you get from a craft store and I've glued onto it these two side pieces that are about a half inch thick and I actually uh, put some little brads in the bottom of it. These actually were a nail gun but you could put some brads in the bottom to hold the brackets and also glue them together for, to reinforce them. But the real key to this is I'm using a three quarter inch dowel and I've drilled some precise holes with a three quarter inch Forstner bit so the dowel sort of just press fits into the hole and it's fairly easy to remove like this and you can then put your roll of uh, thermal paper just like that and uh, fit it right onto the bracket like that and now you have yourself a holder for your thermal paper there's a little lip on the front of this uh, bracket and it kind of engages the rear feet of the typewriter so that it kind of holds it in place like that see and then it's a convenient way to feed the paper into the typewriter like that but that's one way you can do it now the potential downside to making a custom holder for a 
thermal fax paper like this is it gets kind of bulky. This is kind of large, and so you might be able to be carrying your uh, typewriter in a little messenger bag like I use, and you're going to have to figure out how to make room in the bag for this holder and which means you might end up having to carry a larger bag like a backpack or something to be able to put both of these in. This sort of takes up a lot of room. And that uh, sort of gets to the point of do you really need this much paper if you're out doing a little writing session at a coffee shop? I mean, how much writing are you really going to be doing? How much paper do you really need? And that gets to the point of, well, maybe you just need to trim off some strips of this and make them into sheets of paper. And instead of carrying a whole roll, just carry a few sheets with you. So one of the ways that I do it, obviously, is you get yourself an inexpensive little paper trimmer. This is one that I got years ago. The thermal fax paper is eight and a half inch wide, at least this roll is. And so I usually set it to 11 inches and trim it to 11 inch lengths, which gives you U.S. letter size strips of paper, eight and a half inch by 11, which is pretty handy actually. So having a little paper trimmer like this at the house and you can trim off three or four sheets and figure, okay, I'm gonna take a couple sheets with me, uh, with me when I take my typewriter out in public. So then you might wanna have to think about, okay, so this thermal paper is actually just a little bit delicate. If you put a crease or a mark on the paper, it's gonna make a dark mark like that. So you have to kind of keep the paper protected, uh, keep it from being scratched or abraded. And so the obvious solution, the one obvious solution, just get yourself a little file folder, right? Put all your tr freshly trimmed sheets of paper in a folder like this, and that keeps it nice and neat and organized. You can stick the folder and the typewriter in a little messenger bag, like this one, for instance. This is a uh, Fargus brand computer laptop bag, and it fits the Typestar 4, and it has an accessory pouch in here for a folder and a few other accessories. So a little bag like that's pretty handy for carrying these uh, typewriters around with a few sheets of paper. But I was thinking uh, one of the problems that I have with these uh, rolls of thermal paper is because they are rolls, you have this problem here. See this? This is a this really bad curl that it does. It's kind of irritating at times. I was thinking one of the ways that you can alleviate this problem is maybe to, after you've trimmed your sheets off, you have your nice 8.5 by 11 inch sheets of paper, is do a little bit of reverse curling, a reverse curling the paper. And so that leads to the next idea, which is you go and get yourself out of your recycle bin a spare cardboard paper towel roll. Or you could use two toilet tissue rolls. Either one would work, but this is a paper towel roll. And what I've done here is um, I have a few sheets of thermal fax paper and I've reverse curled the paper. So I have one that I was typing on uh, last week and I have actually two of them. I need to put these in my my folders, but I have a couple more sheets here, right, of fresh paper. And I've simply uh, reverse curled them so the thermal coating side, the front side of the paper is on the inside of the curl, the inside of the roll, right, and slip it in like that. And now you have a way of protecting the paper from getting scratched and marred up and making marks on it and it also keeps it kind of reverse curled and uh, with my little uh, laptop bag this will fit conveniently enough in the little accessory pouch so it's a nice way of organizing your freshly cut sheets of thermal paper kind of reversing the curl on them so it makes it a little bit more convenient to, to use. You don't have this bad curl going on. Well, one thing I did notice about using a paper towel cardboard tube is that sometimes it's a little tricky getting the paper out here. The tube is 11 inches wide. My paper is eight and a half, so there's a three quarter inch roughly on either side that you have to reach into if it's centered. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, cut a couple little V-shaped notch is about roughly two inches. That'll help me to be able to reach the paper, I think, a little bit better. Like that, see? Let's try that out. So I'm gonna 
roll the paper up so the thermal side is on the inside of the roll. So just the opposite of the way it comes on the roll of paper. And then I can slip it like that in there. And now I have the paper available. I can kind of pull it out easier. I can get my get a grip on it a little bit easier like that. If you're going to be carrying your sheets of thermal paper rolled up in a tube like this, it might be kind of fun to try decorating this tube. You know, this is sort of just a rather ugly looking little cardboard tube, but I was thinking if you go to the craft store and buy some Mod Podge, which is this stuff that you can use to do decoupage, and then maybe take some typings, like type stuff, interesting f verses and things, onto some interesting paper, and decoupage those on the outside of the tube and kind of decorate it with kind of a typewriter styled little thing. It'll be kind of a custom little paper holder for your thermal typewriter. Okay, well I'm at Michael's and I'm gonna go see if I can find some Mod Podge, some stuff to do decoupage for this paper roll holder. Okay, well, in preparation for this little impromptu project, I'm going to be typing some stuff onto some tracing paper. I got this kind of yellowish parchment colored tracing paper. I have a sheet of backing paper in the typewriter. And I'm, I just pulled out the uh, Galaxy 12. It's uh, normally stored out here in the garage anyways. So I have this book, uh, English American Surrealist Poetry, edited by Edward Germain. And uh, this is one of my favorite poetry books if you like surrealist poetry. So I'm gonna be uh, typing just a bunch of surrealist poetry onto this uh, sheet of uh, parchment colored tracing paper. And then I'm gonna try Mod Podging it. <laughs> onto the cardboard tube. See what happens. Well, I have this little rectangle of paper with some surrealist poetry on it. And it's not quite the full length of the cardboard tube, but I think I'm going to decoupage it to the middle of the tube somehow. That'd be kind of interesting. Okay, well, I've trimmed it so that it is uh, just about the right width between those two V-shaped notches. Well, here we are. This is still drying, but it's my little typing decorated paper roll holder for the sheets of thermal paper that I cut off. And uh, I haven't done decoupage since I was a kid, so this is probably going to be all wrinkly, but that's fine. That's just part of the aesthetic of it. And it was fun typing up these surrealist poems from the old poetry book that I used to enjoy reading so much. I'm gonna to have to type up some more poetry from my favorite books. But uh, anyway, it's just waiting for this to dry and then we'll be able to use it. And by the way, the rolls of thermal fax paper that I bought, and this is probably isn't the only kind available, but it's this Brother brand. And the model number is the 6890. So Brother 6890. It's uh, 98 feet of eight and a half inch wide paper with a one inch core. So that's just the kind I'm using. I'm not necessarily recommending that as the only kind, but whatever you can find out there. So I have this other paper roll holder that I forgot about I need to show you. This is another way of making a holder for thermal fax paper. You saw the wooden one that I showed you. And, um, you know, it's nice to have something like that, but as I said, it is a little bit large and ungainly to carry around with you. Well, this other idea, it's two pieces of wood with, I think it's three-eighths of an inch diameter holes, and I'm using a three-eighths inch piece of brass tubing, and you can find these in the hardware stores. There In the United States, there's a company called k &S Engineering, and they have these displays uh, where they have different kinds of metal tubes and sheets and everything. You can get brass and you can also get aluminum, I think, in 3 8 inch. But this is just made of scraps of wood. And so I have just a piece of 3 8 3 quarter inch wood. There's a wider piece of a quarter inch. It kind of makes like a stabilizing foot. And I've 
drill the 3 8 inch hole so it's resting right on top of the ledge of this quarter inch piece so it kind of sits there like that. And I did the holes with a Forstner bit so they're nice and kind of press fits in there rather nicely. But anyway, you put the roll like this and then you put the other side of the metal tube and there you have yourself a little holder. Now, the key thing about this, and it just sits behind the typewriter on the table like that, okay? But the key thing you have to remember when you're designing a system like this is when the roll of paper is brand new, you have to look at the height between the top of the inside of the roll down to the bottom of the roll. And that defines where you have to put the hole at in relationship to the height of the brackets. You don't want the roll of paper dragging on the table. So when you put the paper in here like this, it's the height from the top of the tube to the bottom of the bracket has to be higher than that would be for the paper itself. So it stays off the tabletop. But this is a nice little solution for a paper roll holder that once you take it apart, it just pulls off into three little pieces like this, right? That are nice and flat and you can put it in your bag along with the brass tube. And this fits nicely in any kind of a messenger bag. It doesn't take up nearly the room that that, that permanently made wooden one does. Well, this is a little bit further into the thermal typewriters and how to use them and how to live with them and use various sizes of paper in roll format, either with holders or trimming them to size and making little sheets. I hope this was informative for you guys and you got some value out of it. Leave some comments down below if there's anything else you'd want me to cover. Any comments, suggestions, be happy to entertain them. And until next time, stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.